So you want to get better at aiming. You've probably seen a clip of your favorite streamer effortlessly hitting a 100k plus score in grid shot, and so you try to emulate that speed, but it ends up looking something like this. And your accuracy plummets. If this is what you think aim training is, you're completely wasting your time. I'd bet for many of the people watching this video that have played aim lab before, the scenario they have the most time on is grid shot or tile frenzy for my Kovac players. And if that's the case, you might be doing more harm than good for your aim. The problem with grid shot is that it's only focusing on one of the six different types of aiming, which is static clicking. And grid shot itself really isn't even that great for improving at static clicking. Grid shot only focuses on smaller flicks with relatively large targets. This takes out the need for precision and instead promotes speed, which discourages accuracy. If you train for speed over accuracy, you might hit a really cool flick shot one out of 10 times, but you miss and die the other nine times. Instead, you'd be far better to train a scenario with much smaller targets, which will help you develop the fine motor skills of lining up precise headshots or long snipes, thus improving your accuracy and resulting in more consistent performances in game. So this brings up the question, what about the other five types of aiming? How can you get the most out of your aim training and translate those skills to your game of choice? Well, first you need to identify your strengths and weaknesses in aiming. You can do this very easily by completing an aim benchmark such as Revosex or Voltaics. I'll leave links to both aim benchmarks in the description, but essentially these are lists of different aim training scenarios categorized by the different types of aiming. If we look at Revosex medium level benchmark, you'll find they have 18 total tasks, three per each type of aiming. Each of these tasks can be searched on AimLab and completed all in one minute each. You can then fill out the sheet with your scores and see where you rank. By completing this, you'll quickly identify what types of aiming you're weak in and where you need to focus your time. Now, if you're not the most experienced aimer, I'd recommend starting on their easy level benchmark, which has it simplified into just four types of aiming. The next thing to consider along with this though is what type of game are you playing? Battle Royales like Apex Legends or Call of Duty Warzone often require you to be strong in all facets of aiming with extra emphasis on tracking since the health pool is higher typically. Games like Valorant or CSGO are often clicking intensive aka flicking and tracking isn't all that important. Other multiplayer games like Battlefield or Call of Duty multiplayer tend to have a bit more emphasis in switching. What I'm trying to say is, if you want to aim like a pro in Valorant, you probably shouldn't spend the majority of your time training your tracking. Or if you want to be the next strafe in Warzone, you need to train more than just flicking. So make sure to train effectively based off both your weaknesses and what type of game you play. But after you've identified what type of aim you should be working on, now what? Well, the scenarios in the aim benchmarks for both Revisect and Voltaic are a great place to start and to practice on a daily basis to try and reach higher ranks. Both AimLab and Kovac have routines in their playlist tab catered for specific games, which are often designed by pros. For example, Strafe's Warzone routine in AimLab is one of my favorites and you'll notice how it has a heavy emphasis in tracking since Warzone is a battle royale. In Aim Lab, you can also look at your own weaknesses by clicking my current score and seeing where you rank in the world compared to other Aim Lab users. You can then go to the training tab and search tasks by each type of skill. For my players that need to improve in tracking, consider checking out my very own video that I have that focuses on tracking. Otherwise, feel free to leave a comment in the section if you have I left anything unanswered for you and may your tracking be smooth and your flicks accurate.